How to preserve a butterfly We don't recommend collecting butterflies by killing them for art purposes. Collecting a butterfly ideally involves finding a dead butterfly outside. But if you can't, and you have a certain species in mind, your best option is to purchase a caterpillar from a butterfly farm. You'll be able to watch as it turns into a pupa into a butterfly. Once it dies of natural causes, you'll have your butterfly specimen, and you can put it into an envelope with mothballs until you are ready to start mounting it. Get supplies you're going to need specific tools for handling the butterfly for collecting, mounting, and display purposes. Dress, straight, or insect pins. Insect pins should be a size 2 a piece of styrofoam or a spreading board that is bigger than the butterfly wax or tracing paper forceps a glue gun airtight glass jar or plastic container with a lid, and a window screen, wire mesh, or aluminum foil for the bottom paper towels and antiseptic, such as Lysol or Pine Sol. Relax the butterfly The next step is to relax the butterfly for positioning. If your butterfly has been dead a few days, it's going to be rigid. But if it has recently died and you won't work on it for a few days, stick it in the freezer. When you take it out, you can help keep it fresh and keep dust off with hairspray. Otherwise, skip this step. To relax the butterfly, start by putting a couple of paper towels in a jar and adding a few drops of antiseptic, which will prevent mold growth. Put the window screen, wire mesh, or piece of aluminum foil on top, followed by the butterfly and the lid. It should normally take no more than one or two days for it to relax, but if you can't move its wings you might need three to four days. Check every day to know when it's relaxed enough and make sure it's dried out. Once it is ready, you can keep the colorful scales on and dust off with hairspray. Mount the butterfly with pins The next step is to mount the butterfly with pins to position it just right for your display. Cover the piece of styrofoam or the spreading board with wax or tracing paper, either a single piece or one piece for each wing to not rub off the scales, and hold the paper in place with pins on the corners. Use the forceps to gently put the butterfly on it, then use pins to keep the butterfly still by putting them on both sides of the abdomen between each wing and the abdomen, and then between each wing and the thorax. You can also push a pin in the middle of the thorax if it's still moving. Now you are ready to work on each wing by first placing a piece of wax or tracing paper over the opposite wing to protect the scales from your hand. Use a pin on the forewing and gently push on the large vein running along the top margin until the forewing is evenly perpendicular to the body, then place the paper over it. Start pinning the paper as close to the wing as possible. When you're ready to work on the hindwing, use a pin to push the bottom of the paper out of the way. Do the same manipulation and pinning for the hindwing and then the other side of the butterfly. The last step is to pin the antennae, which is standard practice to pin into a V-shape. Use the pins to straighten them out and put them as close as possible into the V-shape. Once you're all done, you'll want to wait at least 48 hours but up to 6 days for the butterfly to completely dry and remain frozen in position. Remove the pins and paper, and you're ready to display your butterfly.